On May 6, 2020, London time, in the latest issue of Nature magazine, a Chinese teenager published two articles in a row, drawing the world's attention. This talented young man is Zhao Yuan. If you are a technology enthusiast, you must be familiar with his name. Zhao Yuan, who was born in 1996, was admitted to the junior class of the University of Science and Technology of China at the age of 14 and was selected into the Yan Yichi physics class. After graduating, he went to the United States to pursue a doctorate degree at MIT. Among the top 10 scientific figures in the world released by Nature in 2018, he was only 22 years old at that time, but ranking first in the list. In the latest issue of Nature, Zhao Yuan, and his doctoral tutor Pablo Girillo Herrero, published two Nature articles in succession, introducing new breakthroughs in the study of magic angle graphene. Nature is recognized as one of the three top scientific journals in the world. The kill rate is as high as 90%, which is equivalent to 10 scientists submitting articles together, but only one person may be selected. So we believe Zhao Yuan's article is not the kind of article that just mixes graphene with some crap to measure properties, and dare to show around. In the first article, Zhao Yuan and his colleagues extended the characteristics of the magic angle to other two-dimensional research systems by controlling the torsion angle. The results of this study have played an important role in exploring the related phase states of twist angle and electric field control in the multiplanar twisted superlattice. Zhao Yuan is the first author of this article and corresponding author with the tutor. Here the corresponding author is usually a professor or the team leader. Zhao Yuan becomes a corresponding author, indicating that he is one of the main creative contributors to the article. In another article, Zhao Yuan was the first author of the article alongside two other authors. Zhao Yuan and his colleagues studied the distribution information of the twist angle. The research object of this article is changed to hexagonal boron nitride encapsulated MATBG. The nanometer scale tip scanning superconducting quantum interference device, squid on tip, was used to obtain a tomographic image of the Landau level in the quantum hall state, and a local theta change map was drawn. It can be said that the appearance of these two articles locks Zhao Yuan's important position in the field of graphene once again. Actually this was not the first time that Zhao Yuan shocked the world in this way. As early as 2018, Nature also published two articles on graphene with Zhao Yuan as the first author. Immediately after the articles was published, it caused a huge response in the entire physics community. At that time, some reports claimed that Zhao Yuan solved the problem that plagued the world for 107 years. Why can Zhao Yuan's articles conquered the discerning judges of the scientific journal Nature, and published two articles in row? That story will have to start from 100 years ago. At that time, due to the resistance of traditional conductors, there was always a lot of energy lost during the transmission from the power stations to the users. If you can solve this problem, it is equivalent to saving a lot of resources for all the world. In order to find out a conductor that minimizes energy loss, scientists have been distressed for more than 100 years. In 1911, Dutch physicist Heike Kamerling Onnes discovered that when mercury is cooled to minus 269, the resistance will be reduced to zero and energy consumption will be fully minimized. This is the first time humans discovered the existence of superconductors. In 1913, Onnes also found that tin and lead have superconductivity, and won the Nobel Prize in the same year. By 1986, German physicists Bernays and Muller discovered a copper oxide, which can reach the superconducting state at about minus 140, temperature was much higher than before. Therefore, Muller and Bernays also won the 1987 Nobel Prize in Physics. Although there were new discoveries in the field of superconductivity, none of the materials can leave the laboratory and jump into the practical usage. Even Nobel Prize winner Robert Laughlin once said, physicists have been wandering in darkness, superconducting research, for 30 years. But it doesn't matter, a breakthrough appeared soon. August 2017 was the historical time. Zhao Yuan and his team discovered a way to make graphene superconducting. As long as the two layers of graphene are rotated to a specific magic angle, 1.1 degrees, they can conduct electrons with zero resistance and immediately exhibit superconducting properties. 
This news detonated the world instantly. Nature would certainly not miss to notice Zhao Yuan's discovery. Within a day, Nature published two of Zhao Yuan's articles on graphene superconductivity. At that time, some netizens commented, Nature should be honored to publish the articles of Zhao Yuan's team. After all, when received the manuscript, Nature couldn't wait to typeset it before posting it online. He has always been a genius in the eyes of others. It took Zhao Yuan only two years to finish junior and high school education. And in 2010, when he was 14 years old, he was selected for the most outstanding Yan Yichi physics talent class. In 2014, under the recommendation of his tutor, he went to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology for further study. In this way, four years later, he became the youngest Chinese to publish an article in Nature. Faced with these outside praises, Zhao Yuan himself behaved very calm. No wonder only two years after the publication of the previous two articles, the 24-year-old genius boy returned with another two articles and further study results, shocking the world again. Giving him a little more time, we believe that Cao Yan may be able to change the world with his latest achievements.